Hey everybody, I want to do a quick review of this knife here. This is the CRKT M1601S and it is just a cool little frame lock flipper from CRKT. Check that out. Alright, let's get into this real quick. What you have here is just over three inches of HCR 13 MOV. Let me make sure that's correct. Yes, sir. You are correct, sir. Spear point blade, and it flips just, just dream, dreamy flippy. Is that a word? No, it's not a word. Anyways, it flips great. But watch this. Just, I'm just gonna barely pull on this. Comes out has pretty decent detent, but flips nice on the light switch. Flips nice on the button push. So I don't know. Let's try the thumb studs. I haven't tried that yet. Flips nice on the thumb studs. All right, so there you go. So you got three inches of that steel spear point, open construction. Check that out. Got good lock on that frame lock. Pretty good lock up there. What are we looking at? About 50%, 40% lock up. Very nice. Now the clip. Uh oh, we're gonna have a problem with the clip. It is only left, right, tip down. So, for all you tip up people, no, no. No, no for the CRKT M1601S. But, that shouldn't be a deal breaker. If you like a little jobber like this, just a quick throw it in your pocket kind of knife. And now the handle is made out of stainless steel, so you're gonna have a little bit of weight here. Let's check out what kind of weight we're gonna have. All right, let's check it out a little bit. Close this bad boy up. Oh, shoot, that's not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be heavier than that. All right, so under three ounces, 2.75 ounces on a little pocket jobber here. You know, I keep saying pocket jobber. I think I got addicted to bigger knives. This has still got a three inch blade on it. And it, it fits pretty fairly decently in my hand. Just a little bit of carry over there on my pinky, maybe. But, you know, if you got normal size mitts, you'll be fine. So, it flips nicely. It handles pretty good. Fits in the grip pretty good. Hold on one second here. And it, it, it's very comparable to any of those other 3-inch blades or under 3-inch blades. I mean, like this one that I was recommending earlier. I mean... They're both open construction. How much does this one weigh in here? Oh, let me close that up. So, you know, this is about three ounces. Let's see. Yeah, right around three with the fro. Maybe 2.95. Just about sliced my finger open there for the camera and the audience. So, you can get these. I think they're about 25, 30 bucks on Amazon Knife Center if you're looking at them. Just a cool little flipper. And this was actually sent in for pay it forward. And... That's just really cool. This is a great, great, great knife. So if you get this in a box in this upcoming weeks, you're going to love it. It's really cool. The only one thing I couldn't really discover is where I would put my lanyard. And you all know that I like my lanyards. But, you know, if it's tip, tip down and carry, you're not going to need a lanyard, I guess. I still want a lanyard. So they milled out all this stainless and they didn't put any backing in it so that's what keeps it pretty light fairly well balanced it feels a little hefty in the back end here and it just gives you a good grip good feeling for this knife so if you like crkt and i do i've had a couple issues with crkt but those were all resolved once i got the good Rizel razel and there you go I can't really think of too much other stuff. I could compare it to some knives, which I kind of already did. But it, like I said, compares favorably to different knives in that price range and, and size. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit different than your what you're carrying, you know, your grip or your Delica or something like that, this is a cool knife. I love that blade shape. Check out that blade. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. And... It opens all these different ways. You can hit that the thumb studs pretty nicely. Hit the flipper. Closes great. Great lockup. 
That's all I can really think to say. But I will say this. Thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for sending this in. This was a really, really cool send in for Pay It Forward. Mr. Bolden, you sir. I'm looking at you. Thank you very much. And y'all just uh if you get if you do get this, you know, send him a thanks too. Just a cool deal here. Alright, I'm rambling again. I do that a lot. But like here, subscribe here, leave a comment down here. Do you have this knife? What do you think of it? Do you want this knife? Have you been looking at this knife? Do you have something that compares to it? And uh, I will talk to you later.